Hello ladies and gentlemen, over the next couple of weeks Yana and I invite you all to join us as we visit some of the many skeletons that are on show in and around London. These are all real human remains and each of these skeletons has a story to tell. Here in front of you is the skeleton of Mrs Grieve. Her remains are on display at the old operating theatre and Herb Garrett in London. Mrs Grieve is a teaching skeleton in the museum's collection and dates from the 19th century. In 2019 an investigation was carried out to discover who this skeleton was. So scientific tests were performed on one of her teeth at the Museum of London. It was learnt that this female was of European descent and nicknamed Mrs Grieve after the writer and herbalist Maud Grieve. Mrs Grieve was 161 centimetres tall and died between the ages of 24 and 32, so very young. She came from a European coastal town or village and travelled to London but sadly may have ended up in the sex trade. On this particular skeleton a noticeable thing stands out. She has a tight thoracic cavity which was most likely caused by wearing a corset. The skeleton's skull shows signs of syphilis and may have been a reason for her death. An even sadder twist of his tale is that the 1832 Anatomy Act meant that if a body was unclaimed by family members then it could be legally sold by hospitals and even workhouses and prisons and used for dissection purposes. Her pelvis is stamped by the company Millican and Lawley and they cleaned and prepared the skeleton for teaching purposes after 1884. Mrs Grieve is now on display at the old operating theatre and Herb Garrett in St Thomas Church, London.